My name is Amanda Stern. I'm the host and curator of... Oh, hmm. Well, that's new. The happy ending monologue. I usually do it before I get to Joe's Pub. But last week, I had a book due. And on the way to Joe's Pub, I started to freak out and think, I, I don't even know what I'm writing about. When I got to Happy Ending, my interns were there, and I was trying to get them to give me things from their own life, like the most detailed, specific things from their own life that I could steal and put in my monologue and make it funny. That's really funny. I like being able to bounce the ideas off of people before the show. Tonight's theme is uh, crisis and suburbia. I kind of really actually don't know what crisis is, and I get it confused with complaining. <laughs> so I thought that I would run through a list of 10 things that would cause a person some confusion. It's in your eyes what you've been I encouraged people to do things on stage that they um, they wouldn't normally do. That is, they have to do something they've never done before on stage. I wanted to be able to give the audience the truth about an author, to sort of humanize um, what's a very private, personal experience, reading someone's book, and be like, that person gets really fucking awkward at parties too, or, you know, this person juggles and, like, weirdly makes his own juggling balls. I care a lot about that, about the unexpected parts of people that make them human. But the baby is you, Maddie. Your soul is you, there's no difference. Thank you so much. And now, now I've heard the, the risk part, which and this, is, this is what you'll see. Because that piece was very much inspired by, by my own mother, so, um, who died a few weeks ago. But I haven't talked about her yet almost at all, because it's, it's really fresh, and it's, and I thought, okay, well, that will be my little start. And so I thought when I was starting the series that my goal, in a way, was, I call Redneck. You want to make this interview better? No. Oh. Um, they're asking me why I decided to impose uh, the risk of um, fearful authors, and I explained that to them. And she said, wait. But tell that social worker, tell her to tell the rabbi that God is dead. That was great. So that you realize you know, that no, there are no rules for these things. What he did was sort of why I originally started the whole risk thing is I wanted authors to expose a part of themselves that they don't normally expose. Well, that was the way her mind worked, which was kind of a wonderful gift. And it was totally crazy. <laughs> so anyway, that was my risk. I just wanted to sort of start talking about it. So thank you. Got a gun and got some premonitions. Gonna sleep alone. Blew a kiss and got some ammunition. Now you best go home. 